Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good today. Today I am going to show you how to make this beautiful dress. It's um, a handkerchief flare dress. It does not have a joining at the waist and it doesn't have a zipper as well. It is just a one cut dress. For this tutorial, I am using 2.5 meters of fabric. It is a scuba fabric. This is what it looks like on the right side. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe, like and share. Turn on the notification bell as well. Let's get to it. The first thing you should know is that we will be cutting the front and the back piece separately. The stretchy part should be used for the width, while the less stretchy part should be used for the length. I have folded my fabric into two. In order to know the amount of fabric you need to fold, you are going to need two measurements. One, your waist measurement divided by four. And two, the measurement from your waist to the length of the dress. For example, my waist measurement divided by four is eight. So from the fold, measure eight inches, make a mark. And then from this mark, I am going to measure the length of my dress. All right, the length that I want is about 22 inches. So on this fold, I have 8 inches plus 22, which is 30 inches. I hope you understand. Let's start with the neckline. For the neck depth and the neck width, I am going to use 3 by 3 inches and draw a curve. Now take your shoulder measurement from the fold. Measure your shoulder measurement divided by 2, mine is 7.5 and then from that mark, come down by 1 inch and make a mark. So now we are going to draw a slant line from the neck width of 3 inches and it will pass through the 1 inch mark we just made and straight to the edge of the fabric. The next thing is to extend the neck width. Because this dress will not have a zipper, I am going to extend the neck width by 2.5 inches. The increase should be on the slant line, not the baseline. So now I am going to reconnect the neckline. Now to the vertical measurement. From the baseline, take your shoulder to chest and your shoulder to waist measurement. Mine is 9 inches and 15.5 inches respectively. Make a mark and draw straight lines. For the length of the dress, take your measurement from your waist to the length of your dress. Mine is 22 inches. Make a mark and draw a straight line. On the waistline, measure your waist divided by 4 and make a mark. Remember that this is the stretchy fabric, so you do not need to add a sewing or an ease allowance. On the chest line, take your bust measurement divided by 4 and also make a mark. For the kimono sleeve, measure from the nape of your neck up to where you want the sleeve to end. For me, I want it to end at about 11 inches, just right above my elbow. So I am going to mark 11 inches right from the 3 inch mark which was the original neck width. Measure 11 inches and make a mark. For the round sleeve measurement, measure around the point where the sleeve would end. Divide your result by 2 and then add about 1 to 1.5 inches ease allowance. Take the measurement from the sleeve length that you just made and make a mark. Mine is 7.75 inches. To connect the dot, first mark 2 inches upward from your waist measurement and then connect it to the end of the sleeve just like this. This is going to be my sleeve opening. Draw a slant line, make it a little bit slant. As you already know, this dress will not have a zipper, so we need to ensure that the waist will be able to pass through the bust when you want to wear or put off the dress. So you have to 
test the elasticity of your dress if when you stretch it it is able to give you your bust measurement then it will pass through your bust if not you will need to add some inches about 1 to 1.5 inches to the waist measurement depending on the elasticity of your fabric and then you connect it to the end of the sleeve now that we are done with the top part let us concentrate on the bottom area first take the measurement of your waist to the length of your dress mine is 22 inches and then you mark the same thing horizontally just like this draw the line to meet up with the mark you just made after that connect this new mark to the m of the dress so the bottom area is going to give us a rectangular shape in order to make it easy for me i'm going to draw the neckline of the back on the front this is the front pattern so that i'll just place whatever i cut here on the remaining fabric and cut out the back so for the back i want the neckline to be one inch now i'm going to connect from this five inch mark up to this so we're going to cut from the back neckline cut 0 0.5 inches above same at the shoulder 0 0.5 at the sleeve 0 0.5 as well then from here you cut just the way it is Now we will fold the remaining fabric to cut out the back pattern. I have folded my fabric into two this way. Then I'm going to place the front pattern on it. I'm going to cut out the same thing. And then after cutting it out, we will trim the neck so that we'll have the front neckline and the back neckline. I'm going to trim out the front neckline. This will be for the back. Okay, now this is what I have. To cut the facing, you fold the fabric into two. Place it underneath the pattern and trace out the neckline. This is the facing for the back. Now for the front, I can fold this underneath, bring this, the fold on the main fabric has to align with that of the facing and trace out the neckline. notch just so you know the top and the bottom now that we have cut the fabric we have to sew open the back pattern up this way and then you place the facing to ensure the notches match you sew right side facing with 0 0.5 inch seam allowance for the front pattern as well, open it up, then you sew right sides facing, the notch has to match. So here it is, I've sewn the facing to the neckline for the front and for the back. Now, we're going to notch. Now I am going to place the right sides together. Flip the facing upward. The seam has to match like this. Then you sew from the facing up to here. For this side as well, you do the same thing facing to facing, the seam has to match. And then you sew 
from the facing up to here. Then after sewing up to here, we're going to cut the facing for the turn up sleeve. All right. I'm supposed to under stitch on the neckline right now so that the facing will not be coming out. So you can under stitch before we do the sleeve part. But let me show you what you're going to do on the sleeve part. And then you sew with a 0.5 inch allowance from the sleeve like this this way and then you stop here on the other side as well and then you sew like this up to here so after sewing up to here you can m you can just finish this place 42 times finish it round and then the bottom area to m it and that will be whole so guys after sewing and wearing the dress i realized that it was a bit short not too short but i would have preferred something longer so i decided to buy a plain scuba fabric half a meter to add to it so let me show you this is what i am going to do i bought um, half a meter of red scuba just to mix it and i cut it into four so each one is five inches and the length is by 60. to start get the midpoint of the new fabric and then the hem of your dress and notch it this is to ensure that you are not short of fabric on one side while you are sewing now you're going to sew place the new fabric on the hem of your dress right sides facing to ensure that the notches match pin it and then you sew while you are sewing do not stretch your fabric just go with the flow i am going to do the same thing on the other side of the m as well this is what it looks like ensure that you iron so that it can lay flat and then you can overlock the raw edge as well now i am going to do the other side but before then i need to mention that whatever length that you had to the bottom is what you should add to the side remember that while we were cutting we measured from the waist down um, and it was the same measurement that we used from the waist to the side it is an handkerchief flare so whatever amount of fabric you had to the bottom part i had it five inches that is the same amount i am going to add to the side so before you go ahead you can overlock the seam that you have just made because when we attach the new fabric to this side it might not be easy to overlock it anymore now get the midpoint of the new fabric and also using the same as a point of reference we already have a midpoint on the fabric the notches have to match place right sides facing so the right side of this fabric against the right side of this one you pin from one end to the other and then you sew with a 0.5 inch seam allowance you're going to do the same thing on the other side as well after doing that iron it well overlock where necessary and that will be all you have your dress thank you very much for watching this tutorial i hope it has been helpful please like share and subscribe and please drop your comment as well and share this video till we see you again next time please take care of yourself Bye.